Okay, now we will proceed with our case number two. This is a 24-year-old Chinese lady presented to our emergency department with complaint of chest pain for the past two days. She described the pain as pyritic in nature. What do we mean by pyritic is the pain was aggravated by inspiration whenever you take your breath in. And it was relief when the patient stooping forward. On further history, she had been having this on and off cough for the past two weeks. So at your yellow zone, a 12 lead ECG was done. So this is the ECG of our patient. So what are the findings from this ECG? As you can see, there is a widespread ST elevation as well as a widespread PR segment depression. There is also a reciprocal ST depression and also PR elevation at lead V1 and also lead FVR. And you can also see what we call as a spotic sign, which is our TP segment depression. So considering all this, with the history as well as the ECG, the diagnosis of this patient is acute pericarditis. So what are the ECG findings or we call as a key ECG findings in pericarditis? You are expected to see what we call as a widespread, okay, widespread concave ST elevation and also PR segment depression throughout most of the limb leads, which are our lead number one, number two, number three, AVL, and also AVF. And also our precordial leads, which is our chest leads from V2 until V6. We may also see our reciprocal ST depression and PR elevation at lead AVR and plus minus lead V1. Apart from that, you are also expected to see sinus tachycardia which is actually very common in acute pericarditis, which can be due to pain and or because of the pericardial effusion. And as I said earlier, you may see what we call as spotic sign, which is a TP segment depression. And that concludes our case number two.